now i'm going to tell you what is a closure of an attribute set closure of an attribute set okay let's suppose i denote my set of attribute as alpha okay then closure of alpha is denoted as alpha plus just as we had a set of fds as f then closure of that set of fds was denoted as f plus okay so what is a closure of an attribute set it is let's suppose i am finding a closure on alpha then closure of alpha would be set of attributes which are determined by alpha okay it's the set of attributes which are determined by alpha or which are functionally dependent on alpha right so this is my closure of an attribute set let's see what are the uses of an closure of an attribute set okay uses but before that i'll just take an example over here i say if a implies b and if a implies c okay then what is the closure of a then closure of a is it is a set of attributes which are functionally dependent on alpha that is it is the set of attributes which are functionally dependent on a so we have b which is functionally dependent on a right because that is the very definition of a dependent on b right this is the very definition of an fd it says that a determines b or b is dependent on a so i would have b here similarly a determines c that means c is dependent on a so i would have c here okay so what is my alpha plus my alpha plus is or rather a plus is bc so that is the concept of a closure of an attribute set so i am just now concentrating on uses of closure of an attribute set okay first i say it is used to test super keys okay okay so how do we test super keys if alpha plus has all the attributes of the relation then alpha is the super key then alpha is super key okay just remember when i talk about set of attributes which are functionally dependent on alpha then this set of attributes would contain alpha as well so my closure here would be it is also going to contain a right why because obviously a determines a that is a trivial dependency it is very obvious that a determines a hence we also have a in the closure of a okay so now since closure of a has a b c or it has all the attributes of my relation let's suppose my relation only has a b c three attributes then i can say a is my super key so that was about test of super keys how to test super keys okay or for that matter let's take a look at what is the closure of 